My name is Emily Wachner, and I'm 41 years old. I'm a first year medical student at IUSM. So I started at Washington University in St. Louis in 2001, which is when most of my classmates were in utero. <laughs> I'm an Episcopal priest, and I became an Episcopal priest in my 20s after attending Yale Divinity School. I was committed to making a difference in the world, which I still am, but tried to do it differently in my 20s than I am now in my 40s. In COVID, I had to stop working as an Episcopal priest because I had a two-year-old and a six-month-old and no childcare. So I was able to take a full stop on my adult grown-up professional life and ask, is this what I want to do for the rest of my adult life? Do I want to serve as an Episcopal priest, or is there something else that I feel drawn to? And the answer was science. At age 38, I had a one-year-old and a three-year-old, and I was taking intro to chem lab in my basement in the middle of COVID. So I was like lighting marshmallows on fire and doing calorimetry and taking exams and studying after my kids went to bed. That tested my dedication. I knew medical school would be very hard, but I had no idea what that meant. In my first exam for human structure, I studied more than I've ever studied in my life. And three days before the exam, I knew I was going to fail. So I emailed everybody, my advisor, the dean, everybody, and said, I'm going to fail this exam. I don't know what to do. That was the truth. I failed it. Um, I think I got a 51%. I cried. I was somewhat convinced that I didn't belong here. I questioned whether I had made a terrible mistake and was then on the hook for $30,000 in loans and would just, I don't know, this was the end, right? One, one failed exam. And I woke up the next day and realized that this is just the first time I'm going to experience some kind of failure for the next seven years. There is no getting better without failure. So I had to learn how to study again. I worked smarter, not harder. I was just, um, I was like doing it wrong. I was taking hand notes like it was 1999. And uh, that's not how they do it anymore. The IUSM resources really did help me. They provided tutors, they had lots of guidance, and my advisor and the dean believed in me. And they said, you know, you can do it. You just have to try again on exam two. And I passed the second exam. Did I pass all of the rest of the exams? I did not. But I did pass the class, and I'm doing much better. Being a mom and a medical student at the same time means that I'm always trading off time. I'm trading time on an exam to be with my kids when they're sick or to take them on a nice day for a hike when I know probably I'll score a little lower on the next exam for that. And that's the kind of decision that I make on a daily basis. It is very hard. It's not impossible because I'm really lucky to have my entire family here. We all have the eyes on the prize of seven years from now. I'll be 45 when I graduate medical school and then hopefully 48 when I finish residency, which is a lot older than most people are. So there's a different return on investment at that point. Well, if they'll have me, I'd really love to go into OBGYN. I'm committed to women's health care and women's empowerment and education. I don't think that there's anything that motivates me more than healthy women in Indiana particularly. I just feel very lucky to be here. I feel very fortunate to be in medical school at all, to be able to make a different choice for my life when I'm 41, but in particular to be at IUSM where my Family has a long history and I get to come back home and practice medicine.